Hey everybody at the Orchard Church, I just wanted to take a minute to tell you about the four things that we're doing this coming Sunday as we have maybe more influence for the sake of the gospel in our community than any other time in recent history. You know, recently we've had a big spike in attendance and we're undertaking some brand new things to be able to make the gospel relevant to your friends, neighbors, coworkers, and family members this Sunday. So let me tell you about these four important things. Number one, we're starting a new service schedule, 9.30 and 11 o'clock. We're opening up twice as many seats on Sunday mornings as we normally have. That's not for us, that's for outsiders. It's for your friends and family and coworkers, the people that you are bringing with you. I hope you've already got somebody that you've been working on, that you've been inviting. I do, I've been inviting some people and praying that they'll come and join us on Sunday morning. This is a huge deal, this is a big thing for us to be able to do to take this step to add to services. Second thing that we're doing is uh, we are starting a brand new message series. I'm doing a brand new message series called New Rhythm, and this is a, a series that's designed around non-believers. Okay, we're asking super practical questions starting this weekend because it's the next passage in Ephesians that we've been studying. So we'll be asking questions like, what's the big deal about cussing and how can I quit? What about lying? Does it really hurt anybody if I just tell a white lie every now and then? What about stealing? If it doesn't hurt anybody, what's the big deal? We're going to be asking these kinds of questions and others starting this Sunday, and we're doing it for your lost friends. The third thing that we're doing is we've got a special song that the band has worked up. And let me just tell you, this song is going to be awesome if there's lost people in the room. If it's just a bunch of Christians in there, it's going to flop miserably because we won't like it that much. But we've done this. We've got this song ready for lost people. If they're in there, they don't really get our Christian music well, but they'll get this song. This will connect with them. My hope is to get their heads nodding and their toes tapping to create a little buy-in on their part so that maybe they'll be a little willing to hear the truth of the gospel when we present it in a way that they can understand. We're making the gospel relevant. And the fourth thing that we're doing this Sunday is we're having breakfast. If you choose the early service, the 930 service, we'll be having breakfast just before that from about 845 till about 920. Got pancakes and lots of bacon that's going to be there. Bacon, dude. Who doesn't love bacon? So those are the four things that we're doing. We're going all out to reach our community for Christ. And I'm praying for you, church, that you've been working on, that you've been talking to, that you've been praying for your friends to come to the Orchard Church with you this Sunday. Look, our children's ministry people are all on board with this. Our greeters, all on board. Our band members and our production team, all on board. I'm all on board. We're willing to go all out and do all of this for your friends. So I'm praying for you as God uses you in their lives this week. I'll see you on Sunday.